Hi, we have to discuss interesting term called ocular cardiac reflex. What is the relationship between ocular or eyes and cardiac or heart? So this is about uh, pathways efferent and efferent as a reflex or impulsive. The so, ocular cardiac reflex, also known as Ashner reflex or trigemino vagal reflex, was first described in 1908 as a reduction in heart rate secondary to direct pressure placed on the eyeball. It is defined by decrease in heart rate by greater than 20% following globe pressure or traction of the extraocular muscle. The reflex most commonly results in sinus bradycardia and associated with reduced arterial blood pressure, arrhythmias, asystole and even cardiac arrest. The wide range of incidents and the severity of, of the ocular cardiac reflex is reportedly attributed to the effects of hypoxia, hypercarbia, acidosis and the anesthetic agents used during surgery, especially long period of time. Let's talk about the anatomy and physiology of the ocular cardiac reflex. So, Ocular cardiac reflex consists of an afferent and efferent limb. Afferent recept some impulse and afferent execute. So the pathway is initiated by the activation of stretch receptors in the ocular and periorbital tissues. The short and long ciliary nerves conduct impulses that carry the sensory message to the ciliary ganglion. From there, the impulses are transported by way of the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve to the gasserian ganglion, followed by trigeminal nucleus, where the afferent limb will terminate in the central nervous system. So the central nervous system will then process the sensory information and internuclear communication will occur between the trigeminal sensory nucleus and the visceral motor nucleus of the vagus nerve. The, this stimulates the efferent limb causing impulses to exit the brainstem and transmit to the myocardium to synapse um, as the sinoatrial node and activate the vagal motor response. The resultant effects include negative chronotropy leading to bradycardia. So this is anatomical scheme of how does it cure any of the stimulus or especially pressure applied to the globus and stimulation goes to the ciliary nerve and ciliary ganglion together ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal uh, nerve goes to the brainstem to the cortex and after coming back fr uh, from the vagus nerve uh, cranial nerve 10 and going to the to the heart and other organs and executing the effect of decreasing heart rate or cardiac depression what are the risk factors for uh, ocular cardiac reflex. It has been associated with various uh, triggering stimuli, most commonly being traction of uh, the side of the extraocular muscles, and especially medial erectus uh, traction, and uh, direct pressure on on the globe, ocular manipulations like surgery, and ocular pain and also secondary to increased pressure, retrobulbar blocks, ocular hematomas and fascial or orbital trauma also may uh, induce activation of the reflex. And important to know that this is a fatigable reflex and its intensity will decrease with multiple and repeated stimuli. Here we have a row of complications, possible complications, and most of them are 
directed to the heart. And of course, dizziness, light, uh, lightheadedness, nausea, and vomiting and weakness. All of them are like parasympathetic from vagus nerve. Sinus bradycardia, arrhythmias, reduced arterial pressure, reduced blood pressure, ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation, and asystole and cardiac arrest, the most important and detrimental. And the last line, which is important for us as it is clinical significance. Most common side effects of the ocular cardiac reflex is bradycardia. One must worry about a further decline to potentially uh, fatal arrhythmias, asystole, and even cardiac arrest. Activation of the ocular cardiac reflex also has been associated with non-cardiac consequences due to the activation of the vagal motor response. As I told you, other uh, vagal effects reported include hypotensive episodes, syncope, GI responses such as nausea and vomiting. Multiple studies uh, have shown that pretreatment with intravenous anticholinergics such as atropine and glycopyrrolate decreases the um, incidence of ocular cardiac reflex. Atropine, as you know, works by blocking peripheral muscarinic receptors of the heart and causes increased firing at the sinoatrial node as well as conduction through the AV node. This opposes the vagal response or the efferent limb or executive uh, direction of the ocular cardiac reflex. A study also, one of the studies reported that a lower incidence of ocular cardiac reflex was reported when uh, ketamine infusion was used as a primary anesthetic agent. When compared, of course, with uh, another one like inhalatory sevofloran, halosan, or intravenous propofol. It is important to note that the administration of fast-acting opioids such as fentanyl, sufentanil, and remifentanil can potentially facilitate bradycardia caused by the ocular cardiac reflex. Many anesthetic agents have been studied regarding their effects on ocular cardiac reflex and it is crucial to know how each acts on the reflex. Thank you very much, have a great time.